In the days of Sodom, the first pull was a righteous lot. And the Bible said the sins of Sodom vexed his righteous soul daily. But that last messenger preached to the doomed. He said, he went down there. Scripture don't say what happened. But far fell the next morning. Right. After he performed those signs immediately, after he performed his prophecy ministry, why did Sarah laugh? She said, I didn't say, yes, you did. Now, immediately after that, he entered or went down into Sodom. So the fire fell. He found Lot and his two daughters to get out of here right now. It went out. He went down there. Remember, he is on his road down. He sent messengers before him, but he went out himself. The message to the doomed. What they do? Laugh at it. What do they do today? The same thing. I belong to the assemblies. I belong to the ones. I, I'm. Uh, I danced in the spirit. Glory to God. I'll speak it. I'll cut my hair if I want to. I'll do this. I'll. I'll just say this. I don't have to be baptized. Jesus name. I don't care what they Paul, old woman hate or anything else. That's it. One of these days, if you haven't already, you'll cross that line. You'll never desire no more to do what's right. Did you hear what I said? It's a matter of brother, sister. Do you realize what's been said? You'll cross that line and you'll never want to do it. You'll still hear the gospel, sure, but you'll never accept it. But the gospel will be preached to the doomed. Those that are eternally lost can't get saved no more. You're already in that spot and don't know it. You think you're living in pleasure and dead while you're alive. Listen, all those who rejected the message of the hour before doom, the gospel was preached to the doom first before they went, without mercy. Noah shut up of the testimony. God shut the door. That's his third pull. After the third pull at Sodom, the doors are shut. There's no more mercy. The team couldn't be found. And the lost had the gospel preached that could not be saved. Because if it's just, I've been that way in every age, every age, reject the message before judgment. Have they done it again? Is that appearing in a pillar of fire down here on the river? Is that appearing along in the message of cutting the women and throwing the places where it should be and rebuking those ministers who takes the place with the denomination instead of staying on the word? When God's thoroughly vindicated that it's him. And not some poor, ignorant, unlearned thing like a man. It's God! We now come to the spot that the third pool would return again to the lost eternal. Could it be that? If that's it, where are we at? It, this might, I hope it isn't, but it's got to be. It's going to be. Just remember, that ministry has to be. They always dovetail. It's the same as the other. It has to come that God don't change. Think of it! Bite your conscience with your... Spiritual teeth. Find out where we are at. What if it is and you're still the way you are? Then it's outside. Half the book is taken by the Lamb. The sixth seal is revealed and all the seals. It's over. It could be. I hope it isn't. It could be. All right. Now, is that why this third pool has lingered so long? You notice the first pool and the second pool went from one to the other. I predicted, you remember when I first started about the first? And I said, there'll come a time that'll even know the secrets of the heart. You remember how many of you, well, all of you remember that in my meetings around? And one night I just walked into Regina, up there and walked on the platform, Brother Baxter there, several thousand people, and a man walked up the platform, and there it was. And from that it's been the same. But it's been years since I've come off the field. If the first and second pull is without question, is your question in your mind about the first and second pool? Did it come to pass just like he said? Yes. Then why question the third? Amen. Amen. Why would you question it? The first two is identified by the Scripture. I proved to you this morning that the third is identified by the Scripture. Amen. Look upon the world see where she's at. Look how they have rejected the truth. Now it's been properly identified. Now, where are we at? God be merciful. It makes my heart bleed on the inside. Remember, these seven peaks up there, they can tell you, it's, there's not another peak beyond that. It's on the continental divide. It goes right into the desert from there. Eternity sets in. Seven peaks right on the continental divide. That's right between right and wrong. And at the end of that, the third pull was the last pull of the range. Is that right? Noah went in, and after seven days, nothing happened. See, in seven days, the judgment comes. If only, listen now, in closing, if only 
in Noah's time, they would have knew that sign. If they would have only known that sign, the world in that day that God proved here by the reading of the Scripture a while ago, He destroyed them people. Not without mercy. Mercy was sent to them by a prophet. They wouldn't believe it. God's merciful. But He sent mercy, but they wouldn't receive it. He always sends mercy first. What if they would have known that sign was the end time sign? And when they seen all at once, salvation let up nobody. See, the first thing you know, the door's closed. If they, there's only one person know that sign, that was Noah and his group. That's the only one know. When that door swung together, Noah knew it. Noah knew that was the finish. Waiting right on and seeing. If they don't, and then the gospel being preached. And the power and signs and wonders with the pillar of fire over it and everything going on just exactly. And predicted and set out. If they, had a, they said, a bunch of holy doors. It's mental telepathy. Some kind of a witch spirit. The devil, that's all it is. Don't you believe it's not in our organization. We don't have to do it that. If they'd have only knew the sign. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. If they'd have only know. Jesus said, <laughs> said, if you'd have only know your day, Jerusalem. If you could only recognize. But said, now you're left your own. If you'd only know, oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, how off I would have hovered you as a hen would have brood from the judgments that's just to come. But you didn't know your day. You that stoned the prophets and killed the righteous. If you'd only know your day. If you'd only know and have been up on your scripture and know that my coming was a sign of your end. Now you're blind. Now you've been rebuked. Your time is over. And it was. You don't only know the time. Look, when Jesus made that declaration, the world went right on. See? The world went right on normally. Why? For they knew not their hour. Scoffers, in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. All right. Noah knew the sign. Same thing in the days of Lot. Same things in the days of Jesus. So is it today. This scoffed their last times. Same at Sodom. They never knew when that messenger was standing there. Message from God. They only laughed at him and tried to pervert them to their own acts. Is that right? Come in and join us. Be one of us. Is that right? Come in and join us. Be one of us. You be one of the boys. Come on. Join us. They never knew their sign. They didn't know that when that message is going on, that the very they couldn't see it, that the power and wrath of judgment is God, the fire blazes of brimstone was kindling in the sky. They couldn't see it. The messengers could. Lot knew it too. He knew it was there. Certainly, same as it is today. Just the same thing. Wrath is killing. Atomic bombs are hanging. Everything's at the end. The same now. Look, people, listen. Did you know? You say, Brother Rambo, what about all of it? You know, people can go right on preaching the gospel like they always do, what they call the gospel. It could be over. They did in the days of Noah. They did in the days of Lot. They did in the days of Jesus. Is that right? Even the Jews, after Jesus told them, the wrath, you're done. You're finished. There's no more. You're finished. I said that whole in your heart. What school did he come from? Where did he come That Remember, he was ready then for his third pull. That's right. He said, how often I hovered you. Locke made his last call. I mean, the angel did. The messenger. Remember who he was. God represented for this day, God represented in human flesh, made the last sign, performed the last duty. It's all over then. Noah preached his last sermon. The door closed behind him. That was all. They laughed at it, made fun of it. Think, the people can go right on preaching. The ecumenical council can join up with the Catholic Church, just as he promised you. All organizations can come on, but the mark of the beast is already there. Amen. They take it in that. See? And they say, oh, hallelujah, bless God. They, so many got saved last night. They did. 
They danced in the spirit. They spoke in tongues. That don't mean one thing. Oh, they're meek and gentle and humble. Yes, sir. They got the fruit of the spirit. That's no sign. Not a bit. Not by speaking in tongues. Not by dancing in the spirit. Not by joining church. Not the fruit of the Spirit. Christian science cannot smother any of you on that. Amen. And deny even Jesus Christ was divine. Not that! But it's the Word living. Amen. There it is! Amen. If they only look, He was Messiah. He was a living Word made manifest. And the man that's got the Spirit of God in him, or woman, lives that Word, lives right out in him. Amen. That's the heartbeat, the predestinated, or the Word of the Lord comes to them, and they are the Word to them. Written epistles, read of all men. Is that right? Could the third pull be on? What if it is? Look at the scriptures piling here. Could it be? Is the third pull to preach to the eternal doom that's rejected the message of salvation? Well, you said churches go, yeah, they will. They'll go right on. It's the same. But remember, all this time, Noah was in the ark. The bride is sealed in with Christ. The last member has been redeemed. The sixth seal has produced itself. The seventh seal brings him back to earth. The lamb come and took the book out of the right hand of him and sat down and claimed what he owned, what he redeemed. Is that right? It's always been that third form. Three is perfection. The ministry come to its perfection when it reproduced Christ again and natural amongst human beings as was predicted as it was in the days of Lot. Oh, think people could go right on preaching, thinking they're getting saved, believing they're doing right, believing their organizations are growing. Sure, and not even a ray of them. 